so when. Today, we're looking at a six gun from the Smith & Wesson Performance Center, the Model 19 Classic 357 Magnum 38 Special. We recently reviewed a couple of the classic guns from the Smith & Wesson Performance Center, specifically the Model 27 large frame 357 Magnum and the Model 25 large frame 45 Colt. These are wonderful six guns, we love them. Always had a special place in my heart for the smaller frame 357s. The K-frame Model 19 is a great gun. It's been around for a long time. The, the, the new ones from the Performance Center are from Smith & Wesson. This is a Performance Center tuned action on this one. The new Model 19s, they look like the old Model 19s, but there are some significant differences in the way they're made. Uh, first of all, they have the Smith & Wesson two-piece barrel. It's got a sleeve uh, got a sleeve barrel and it's got the outside barrel shroud to make it a two-piece barrel. The larger frame guns have the old uh, traditional style one-piece barrel because there's just not enough thickness in the barrel there to make it a two-piece unit. That's fine. They work just great. They look like pretty much like the old ones. You can tell the difference looking at the end of them. But they look pretty much just like the old ones do. Another uh, change that they have in these it's really interesting in the lockup on these instead of having the traditional lockup on the back of the cylinder and the front of the rod they have uh, their two-piece lockup is on the back of the cylinder and on the crane itself right here in front of the cylinder reminiscent of the wonderful old triple lock revolvers from the early 20th century which was the first model hand ejector large frame uh, these are not to be compared with that. They only have two lockups. You see the the uh, triple locks had the one out here also. So these have two lockups, but it's just locks locked up locks up differently. It's really interesting the way they do it. Another thing these have is the uh, key lock system, Smith and Wesson key lock system, which the original model, model 19s obviously didn't. That was before the lawyers took over. You can either like or dislike the Smith & Wesson locking systems. I'm not crazy about them, but I find them easy to ignore. I know a lot of people that won't have a Smith & Wesson gun with a lock in it. Well, that's on them. They're missing out on some fine six guns. Smith & Wesson's making some great stuff these days, and if you allow yourself to be prejudiced by not having one with a lock in it, well, that's too bad for you. Uh, locks are here to stay. They're considered by some to be a safety feature, and a safety feature is never removed. They can't do it. If they start taking the locks off a gun and some idiot didn't know how to raise his kid, has a kid come in there and load it up and can shoot himself with it, turns around and says, well, Smith & Wesson's no more. So they can't take the lock out. It's in there to stay. You might as well get used to it. Give up on calling it a Hillary hole or something like that. That's real uh, clever phrase there, Hillary Hole. It's pretty funny. I laughed at it a bunch of times when I first started hearing it, but it's not funny anymore. Uh, you're, you're letting yourself be cheated out of some fine guns by not having anything to do with a lock. Some people are the same way with the two-piece barrel. I ain't nuts about them, but there's nothing wrong with them. The only thing that's wrong with them, that, as far as anybody can tell you, is they're not the way Smith & Wesson used to do them. Well, that's true. That don't mean they're any better. Don't mean they're any worse. It's not the way Smith & Wesson used to do them. And that's okay. These are fine guns. They, they shoot great. They look great. They look like the old ones. They shoot great. They balance like the old ones. This is the four inch barrel model. They, they, they work just wonderfully. The trigger pulls on them. As I say, this is a performance center tuned trigger. Make sure it's not loaded here. The uh, trigger pulls on them. The double action on my trigger pull gauge. It's about eight and a half pounds. Very smooth. This is just a dandy trigger. They did a great job on these. A single action pull on them is equally wonderful. It drops at about three and a quarter pound on my trigger pull gauge, and it's smooth. There's not a bit of creep to it, and you can't see an over travel stop on it. But doggone, there's no over travel in it either, which is something that I love. I hate over travel in a trigger. I love the way they did the triggers on these. They're just wonderfully done. They're they're. Uh, they're available through the Performance Center with the tuned action, and they're, they're well worth it. They're just they're the dandy six guns. Have a look at these and other Smith & Wesson Performance Center uh, guns 
and uh, you, you're going to like them. They got a, a lot of different kind of stuff. They got modern guns. They got as even as the revolvers are, revolvers are concerned, they got guns that are ported and got all kind of fancy stuff on them, and they're really neat stuff. And then they've got the traditional guns also, which is what I happen to like myself. They're wonderful guns. Check them out at smithandwesson.com. If you want to buy these online, you can go to galleryofguns.com. Click on the Gun Genie, and it'll let you get uh, dealers in your area competing for your business. And they'll uh, they'll get with you and, and you know, give you the total price. You pay a deposit when you order the gun, and then you pay the rest of it directly to the dealer when you pick it up. You'll know exactly how much money you're going to have to pay, including fees and taxes and transfers and government extortion fees and whatever else you got to deal with you can you can find the god uh, uh, smith and wesson dealer near you at lipsies.com by clicking on their dealer finder you put in your zip code and they'll show you where ellipses affiliated dealers are in your area you can give them he'll tell them how far you're willing to go they'll put you in touch with the ellipses dealers in that area and you can get them like that there's either one of those is a great way to buy a gun completely legal everything's good with it you just get you one of these and play with it and i think you'll enjoy it as much as i have another thing i really like about these uh model 19s are the grips they're they're wonderfully done they're nicely lasered they're they're cut checkered really nicely with a diamond in them out of smith and wesson medade in them they're made out of real wood not just sure what kind of wood it is it looks like a walnut it feels like a walnut the uh ejector side is cut out relieved for a uh, for a speed loader and it looks good they feel good they're like the old coke bottle grips to look at but they're not flared quite as much they're a little bit slimmer profile which to me makes them even better this gun is on the round butt configuration with a square with a square uh square butt grip on them so if you want to switch out to a, to a more compact round butt configuration on your grip you can do that but these grips that come from smith and wesson they feel perfect in my hand i got pretty big hands not huge hands but pretty big hands they feel really good in my hands i think you'll like them i'm going to start off shooting this model 19 smith with some uh, 125 grain remington jacketed soft point loads they're not a real uh, real powerful load about 1450 feet per second so they are magnum level loads but uh, they're not the real heavy stuff that's going to beat the gun up the model 19 being a k frame is not as you know the, it was said for years and years don't shoot three to seven magnums out of them that's not right they'll they'll take a steady die to three to seven magnum for years and years without shooting loose but uh by the same token there's no use in punishing the gun or yourself the remington 125 grain jacket soft point load is a dandy load out of this gun Another good thing about the 357 Magnum is it'll also shoot 38 specials. I love 38 specials, one of my favorite rounds. They're easy shooting, just a lot of fun, having a nice quiet afternoon shooting and things. They, they'll they get the job done for uh, self-defense or whatever, but mostly I just think they're fun to shoot. Probably my favorite 38 special load is the double tap 148 grain full wide cutter load. It's a it's a hard cast wad cutter, not a swaged wad cutter. So they're not going to ledge your barrel, but they have the wad cutter accuracy that the wad cutters are famous for. They punch beautiful holes in paper. They're just a very accurate load. Double tap loads them better than anybody that I know of. They're very consistent loads and very accurate loads, and I just love them. One good thing that you need for a gun, if you want to carry it, is a good holster. I like these holsters from Rob Lay. He is Simply Rugged Leather. This one is a shark skin holster. It's made for, I ordered it for a three inch gun. This is a four inch gun. So it sticks out just a little bit, not a problem, because they're open on the bottom. It just sticks out a little bit of barrel on that one. It's not a big deal. But uh, I'll be showing you more on the three inch gun that I ordered it for later. This one's made out of shark skin. It's a pancake, it rides high and tight. But the butt, butt's here against your body. It's got a little tab on the holster so the, the metal part's not rubbing your belly or anything. 
but it, it holds it in nice and high and tight. If you want to have a little little jacket over this, wear your shirt tail out or whatever, it hides really well. It carries comfortably. You can carry it all day, not even know it's there. Even for a, a all steel, relatively heavy gun like a Model 19, it, it's out of the leather fast. It's back in the leather pretty good. They are they're just dandy little old holsters. Rob Leahy is simply rugged holsters in Prescott, Arizona. He knows what he's doing. He's a good guy. He's a good friend of ours, and he makes some really good stuff.